Have you ever wondered how the radio was invented? Today we take you on the extraordinary journey of the invention of the radio. Imagine a world where the only way to communicate across distances was through wired connections, handwritten letters, or messengers on horseback. A world without wireless communication and music on the go. This was our world before radio. A world where human connection was limited by physical presence and the written word. Communication was limited by distance and time. Messages took days, weeks, or even months to reach their destinations. But then, a spark ignited a revolution that would change everything. Our story begins with James Clerk Maxwell, a Scottish physicist who saw the invisible. In the 1860s, Maxwell developed the theory of electromagnetic waves, proposing that electric and magnetic fields could move through space together, like partners in a dance. They danced together, creating ripples of energy that could travel vast distances. His theory was revolutionary. It challenged the existing understanding of physics. Yet Maxwell couldn't prove his theory. He needed someone to bring his equations to life. He needed someone to demonstrate these invisible waves. That someone was Heinrich Hertz. Heinrich Hertz, a German physicist, took up the challenge. Born in 1857, Hertz was a brilliant mind who had a deep interest in the nature of electricity and magnetism. Using a spark gap transmitter, Hertz became the first person to generate and detect radio waves, proving Maxwell right. Hertz's experiments were the first steps in bringing radio waves out of the realm of theory and into reality. In 1887, he conducted a series of experiments that would change history. Using simple equipment, he generated and detected electromagnetic waves. His setup included a spark gap transmitter and a loop antenna, which were rudimentary by today's standards but revolutionary at the time. Hertz's experiments opened the door to a new era of communication. The principles Hertz discovered laid the foundation for the development of radio and other means of wireless communication. To date, the frequency of electromagnetic waves is measured in Hertz, acknowledging his grand contribution to the field. However, Hertz didn't see the practical applications of his discovery. Despite his monumental contributions, he remained humble and somewhat skeptical about the future uses of his work. He famously said, I do not think that the wireless waves I have discovered will have any practical application. How wrong he was. His discoveries have since revolutionized the way we communicate, making it possible to connect with people across the globe in an instant. The story of the invention of the radio would be incomplete without Guglielmo Marconi, the man who took Hertz's discovery and made it practical. He is generally regarded as the man who invented the radio. In 1894, Marconi sent his first radio signal. Although it was only a short distance, it marked the beginning of a new era in communication. Undeterred by the initial limitations, he continued to refine and improve his technology. Each experiment brought him closer to his goal of long-distance wireless communication. In 1901, after years of relentless experimentation and innovation, Marconi achieved the unthinkable. He successfully sent the first transatlantic radio signal from England to Canada. This monumental achievement left the world in awe and opened up new possibilities for global communication. The demonstration of this technology was met with amazement and excitement. Communication would never be the same again. Marconi's invention sparked a wave of innovation and inspired countless inventors and scientists to explore the potential of radio waves. The world was on the cusp of a new era, the era of radio. This technology would go on to revolutionize not just communication but also entertainment, news, and even emergency services, shaping the modern world in ways Marconi had only dreamed of. But there's another name you need to know, Nikola Tesla. Tesla, the Serbian-American inventor, was also working on wireless communication during the same period. Tesla envisioned a world where information could be transmitted wirelessly to any point on the globe. Though often overshadowed by Marconi, Tesla's innovations were crucial to the development of radio as we know it. The radio continued to evolve, helped by other inventions such as vacuum tubes, loudspeakers, and transistors. And then it happened. Radio burst onto the scene, transforming life as we knew it. 
It was no longer a device for point-to-point -point communication, especially in ships and in the military. The radio was now an instrument of mass communication. Suddenly, people could listen to news, music, and stories from miles away. No wires and no delays. As radio became a part of daily life, new challenges emerged. Early radio transmissions used a method called amplitude modulation, or AM. In AM radio, the strength of the signal, its amplitude, varies to encode sound. AM was the first to broadcast voice and music, making radio a household essential. But AM had its limits. Static interference and lower sound quality were constant issues. American engineer Edwin Armstrong helped solve this problem. In the 1930s, he developed the frequency modulation, or FM radio, which changed the radio experience forever. It was sheer genius. Instead of varying the amplitude, FM varies the frequency of the signal. This breakthrough reduced static and dramatically improved sound quality, especially for music. AM and FM revolutionized radio in their own ways. AM for talk and news, FM for high fidelity music. Together, they expanded radio's reach, making it more versatile and reliable. And for the radio, the skies were no longer the limit. Radio connected the world, allowing ideas to travel faster than ever before. It united nations, informed the public, and became the soundtrack of the 20th century. Today, radio has evolved into podcasts, streaming, and digital broadcasts, but its core remains the same, the power to connect, inform, and entertain. As long as there are stories to tell and music to play, radio will remain a vital part of our lives. The radio has come a long way, from the sparks of Maxwell's imagination to the waves of Marconi's innovation and the evolution from AM to FM, radio has shaped the world, and it's here to stay. So the next time you tune in, remember, the story of radio is the story of us all. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more interesting stories of inventors and their inventions.